So guys, uh, big news this week, uh, Sha Wan is officially dead, um, whatever that means. So lots of news in the press this week uh, about the fact that a team of, uh, a team of experts from, uh, from Google have actually managed to find a, a collision for, for Sha Wan, and that's basically um, caused a, a massive sort of ripple of, um, of, of panic and excitement around the, around the internet. So I just want to quickly demonstrate exactly what they've done and so so and kind of I guess put some perspective on what this what this hack or not hack what this um, what this uh, this collision what the what they've achieved actually means okay so so what they so what Google have actually managed to do and for those of you who um, have seen my sort of cryptography videos on SHA-1, SHA-2, uh, SSL certificates and some of this stuff is relevant to the blockchain videos as well and um, what they've done is they've found two Two PDFs, which um, which produce the same SHA-1 uh, hash, right? So, so and, and we know that the SHA-1 hash is is a is a particular way of generating a a, um, a digital uh, fingerprint of, of of a particular file or any digital asset. So they've managed to to, to get these two documents and uh, and uh, which look look completely different. Well, somewhat different. You'll see in a second, and they produce the same hash. So. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that, that this is actually real, and I'm going to show you the files and show and demonstrate that the hashes are actually um, actually the same. Right. So um, that's the first thing that jumped into my mind when I heard this news. Is well, okay, let me see the PDFs and try it for myself. Um, so I'll put a link to this. Uh, so th there's an article here that I'm um, that I'm sort of referring to. It's a pretty pretty good summary, and I'll I'll, I'll link to that below as well. Um, so down here you can see these links, right? So you can download these links, PDF1, PDF2. So all I've done is downloaded both of these um, into my downloads folder, right? So if I just do, uh, if I just get a list of my um, PDFs. So I've got um, Shattered1 and Shattered2, right? So if I do, if I do Shasum, Shattered, Two, right? Here, here we see the. This is the SHA-1 checksum of that file, right? And if and if we do SHA sum shattered one, then we can see these SHAs are absolutely identical, right? Now that's a that's a very significant uh, significant implication of that, right? Um, let's just so you believe me, um, I'm going to open these two. PDFs to see what they actually look like, right? So I'm just going to open my downloads folder, so I can see my PDFs up here: Shattered One, Shattered Two. Let's open Shattered One, and then let's open Shattered Two. So a couple of points to bear in mind here: um, the, the the PDFs basically look the same, and and so what they've done is they've taken a pair of uh, they started with a pair of images, um, and they have um, they've got some they've got a, some code that they plan to actually release to the general public in uh, 90 days' time. Um, which enables you to, to start with a pair of images and then make changes to those images um, and, and, and reach a point where, where, where the two images will, will reconverge on the same uh, hash, basically. Um, and so you can see, you know, it's not like these two images are completely different. They're not two copies of the same contract with different words. All, all, the, all the words um, you can see here are the same, that the pictures are the same. In fact, ostensibly, the only thing that's different is the color of the background. But they clearly are different, they're, they're different documents. Um, if I go back to the, if I go back to the terminal, you can see the size of the files is exactly the same. So the, 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 the file size is identical in, in, in bytes. So in terms of implication, th what this really means is that the, there's been a lot of um, a lot of impetus around, you know, getting SSL certificates off SHA-1 for a long time, and now, you know, we're well down that road now, and, and most browsers are, are, are flagging up uh, security warnings um, if they see um, SSL certificates that are signed with SHA-1. Um, so, you know, but it's just important to point out exactly what's been done here. So what Google have been able to do is take, take an original... Um, content that they've clearly chosen themselves so you know it's not like they've had to find two crazy completely uh, uh, random pieces of nonsense that have the same hash they've clearly been able to design this image very carefully um, 
and, and, and put exactly what they wanted on it. So, so, so that's the first point. You know, this could, this could be a, a prenuptial agreement, it could be a, you know, a rental agreement, it could be anything. And what they've managed to do is, is, is to take a copy of it and then alter it slightly. And with a great deal of computing power, they've managed to find a, a, a tweaked version of the original that has the same SHA-1 hash. And, and, and that, you know, in, in terms of contracts and, and all that kind of stuff, has huge implications. It's still very difficult to do it. It, it took them, um, it cost them about $110,000, as I said, on, uh, on AWS in terms of computing power. We're talking about a huge number of computations. But still, it, it, it means that effectively the, the algorithm is no longer safe from um, uh, from from evil doers uh, who who as time goes on people will have access to more and more computing power um, for for less money so so that's that's why they're saying that SHA one is dead and uh, so if you've seen my other videos on why why SHA two five six for example is 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 more secure then please listen to those um, in a nutshell it comes down to the the length of the the length of the the the, the fingerprint so sha256 has a 256 bit hash um, and it's way 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 more uh, way more secure um, and if you're interested in in the blockchain implications so bitcoin and, and, and blockchain uh, frameworks that we've been talking about like bitcoin and ethereum they do not use sha1 uh, for hashing even though hashing is is very much a, a building block of the entire system as well so i hope that clears up some of the the implications around the the the, the shattered attack uh, it's quite an exciting piece of news hopefully it puts into a bit of perspective and yes if you've got any questions then uh, please leave them below and please check out my blockchain videos